Oh man, so heavy. How do people do this? Can't get up here. Oh, I'm stuck. Gonna have to find a different solution. Welcome back to JJW Outdoors. Justin here. A bit snowy out today, but that's not an issue. Have you ever wanted to get a backpack up somewhere where it's high, either on a cliff, and you just can't bring it up with you because your backpack's too heavy? I have the perfect solution for you. Let me get back down there, and I'll show you what I'm thinking. So here I have a bucket and a backpack. Now I need to get that bucket up there in the treehouse. But the problem is, it's too heavy. Why would I want to take something that's super heavy, risk climbing up that ladder and throwing it up in there? Now it can be done, but I can give it a much easier way to do it. This is called the barrel hitch or bucket hitch. And what the barrel hitch does is it allows you, to, it's not a knot, it's a hitch. So what a hitch is, it's like a lashing onto something it's not an actual physical knot. But anyway, so my goal in this video is to show you how you can get something that's heavy up into the tree. Um, now you don't want to hold on to here if your backpack is so heavy because this could just break off. So yeah, people go through the arms and do it like this, but still now you're risking here and here and it's more wear and tear in your backpack. I'm going to show you the barrel hitch, which is going to allow us to get these objects up into my tree house here it'll be super simple for you let's get started so we got a rope we got a bucket and we have our backpack we we'll start off with the bucket first it is empty but we're gonna pretend it's full so bucket rope let's get started so I'm gonna unwind the rope now all we have to do and just lay the rope right on the ground. I'm going to get a little closer shot for you. So you lay the rope and you leave pretty good slack on the side, okay? Put your bucket straight in the middle of that rope. Now you're going to come up the sides and you're going to tie. And this isn't going to be really a knot, but you're going to attempt to do an overhand knot. And then you're going to peel the overhand knot to where it's looped here and it's looped here. And we go around your bucket. Now you're going to kind of hold it. This is the hard part. And you're gonna come right up the sides, pull it tight, just like that. Now, we're gonna take this, and we're gonna tie just a regular overhand knot right here as well. Nothing special right there. Now, with the buckets heavier, it will be uneven, so you just gotta make sure your lashings are over a little bit like that. Now, the bucket's picking up perfect. So, I'm gonna show you that one more time, get down a little closer. Pretty simple. Easy to undo. Alright, so again, we have our rope. We're gonna lay our rope where it's pretty decent on that side and put our bucket right here in the middle of that rope. And we're gonna come up and we're gonna tie. We're going to loop on the other side and cross over top of our rope to create a small little overhand knot like so. Then you're going to take the two middle, that cross, you're going to take the two middle and you're going to spread it apart. So what you're looking for is you're looking for how it overlaps here and it overlaps here. You want to kind of keep it tight at this point, it's kind of difficult. Just like that, so you want to pick your end up here and you want to pick your end up here. And you kind of just push on your bucket a little bit, and that's it. Then you come over here, and then you're going to create the same knot you did earlier, which is on itself. Just like so. Now you have your bucket, and you can haul right up into the tree. Alright, so now that I showed you how to do the bucket, 
the backpack is the same way. Let me undo my little lash and I got here. Anyway, sorry about that. So we take our rope, lay it down, get your backpack that's real heavy, and you want to put it kind of angled to your ropes. You want it to come up towards the straps into the front of the backpack because that's where your main heavy point is going to be here, so you don't want to go the other way. Just like that, you're going to do the same knot you did earlier, just regular overhand knot. You're going to spread that overhand knot to the sides and make sure you're lashing is even on both sides like that. Then, you can create your overhand knot on the top, just like that. You're ready to rock and roll. So now at this point, you take your rope and you either strap it to your belt or you toss it up here like I have here. So now you're gonna take your end of your rope like I got here. Now all you're gonna do is just toss it up into your treehouse. Just like that. Tree house, tree, whatever you need to climb up, even if it's a small little cliff. There's no point in hurting yourself by carrying a heavy backpack up into that cliff. So, now we're gonna climb up here. Just like this. You're gonna get your rope and your backpack. So your backpack is very secure. As you can see, I can shake it. It is not falling off. Bring it up here. There you go. There you have it. Same way to bring it out. Just like that. Throw your rope over the edge. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, you're gonna want to do the same exact setup as you did before. You wanna put your backpack like this. You're gonna come up through here, but you wanna leave this side a lot longer this time. Come up through the middle. Then you're gonna to wanna to cross it, make your overhand knot, just like you did last time. But instead of splitting these apart and putting it towards the top, like we have here, put it towards the bottom a little bit more. Kind of tighten it like this. Too close to the bottom, sorry. Just gotta put it right there at the bottom. And then you can come up to the top and take the same knot here on the top, like this, split it apart, and put it up close. And then you tie your overhand knot at the top so it doesn't slip on you. And there you go. Now it's double looped. I'm going to show you that up really close. So as you can see here, instead of just having one on the top there, I have one there too, and the loop that's on the bottom. So if I pick this completely up, see it's pinching on three points of the contact of the bag. The bottom, the middle, and the top. And it looks the same on the other side as well. You could do that with the bucket, and you could do it with bricks or a log. Let me show you that. Super easy to undo. Pretty much the only knot you have to do is the overhand knot. Now when I was watching on a video tutorial online about this, just to get the name of it and everything, they, they recommend trying a bowl line on the top. I didn't do that because I don't think it's necessary. A bowl line can be a complicated knot for some people. So I want to make this as easy as possible. But I'm not saying it's wrong and I'm not saying it's right. You do it however you feel. So again, same type of thing. Right there, you take your log or whatever heavy object you have, you come up to the sides, Tie an overhand knot. Spread the overhand knot apart. I'm gonna bring this one down to the end, I mean to the middle, sorry. 
as far as the middle as I can go. And I'm going to tie an overhand knot tight this time. That's where the bull line is difficult. So then I can pick this up just like this, wiggle it around. And it is not coming off of there. So I love this hitch. I wish I knew about this when I was younger because this tree house of mine, I really went to town in this tree house hauling big heavy objects up there like that. So like I was saying, I took heavy logs like that and I dragged them up there when I was younger. It was fun, it was enjoyable. Uh, we'd build a little fort up there as well, like a roof. It was fun. So most of our logs that are over there, I gathered in the woods and I put them up there. As a roller, obviously we don't use it near as much. It's still fun. So I hope you enjoyed the barrel knot. Now, I'm gonna show you that you can do this with a water bottle as well in just a minute with a piece of paracord. So I used a heavy object rope here for the backpack, the bucket, but you can do this with paracord as well. So I have some paracord here. I'm gonna go get a water bottle and I'll be right back. All right, have ourselves a water bottle. We got our string. I'm gonna come a little closer, show you what to do with the water bottle. So this is my quick deploy setup. Uh, if you go check out my other video, I will show you how to tie this. It's really easy, really simple. This is considered a hitch or a lash as well. So it's not really a knot. Sorry about calling it a knot. But yeah, I'll put the video kind of up here a little bit if I can figure it out. So yeah, so this side, we don't want to use our loop. We want to go the other side. And you're going to want to get yourself a smaller piece of paracord as well. It depends on what you want to do with it. So this is obviously just a regular water bottle. So you're going to tie your same, same lash. You can kind of get it in a groove like this. Come up. Kind of hold it here in your hand. You just want to tie a regular overhand knot. And you can do this right in the ground. Just like that. Take your lashing. You want to keep this one close to the top of the water bottle. Just like that. And then you can tie your overhand knot on the top. Just like that. Now you can hold this wherever you want as well. It's kind of cool. Neat. What I think this is really cool is I would actually tie one here. And I would tie one here. And then I'll tie one here. And say if I don't have a backpack or I'm out in the woods and I find a water bottle like this. That's a score when you're in a survival situation. So if you have some paracord, it's easy to tie this knot right here. Strap it to your belt. So that's why I said smaller piece of paracord. Just strap it to your belt. Now you can move, you can wiggle, shouldn't fall off. But yeah, that's why I would tie one here and here, just in case if you like fall down a cliff, you, if it's in the dark, you're trying to figure out your way home, I recommend you just hunker down for the night. But if you can't, you're in a survival situation, this is easy just to, hey, I found a water bottle. I strap it right here to the belt. I don't want to put it in my pocket say it's too bulky or it's a bigger water bottle. It's easy. Just do that. Now you can also, if you got a longer piece of paracord, put it around your neck like this. Bring it around the side and around your body like this. Now this is going to be for a different video. But... When you're in a survival situation, you do not want to cut your paracord, unless you have to. So it's easy, just kind of make a backpack like this. It's not hurting you, it's not straining your neck. You can move, you can walk, it's not a problem. Now you have a way to carry your water bottle and get out of that survival situation if you're ever in it. If you don't have a belt, perfect. I just made a little backpack deal. You can do the same thing with your big rope, which I'll be showing you in a separate video, so stay tuned to the channel. How to, if you don't have a backpack, how to carry your items. I always tell you certain things you want to carry, like on a day hike. Say if you're in a day hike, you're just, you're just out in your woods with your water bottle. No big deal, you're just going for a hike. And oh man, I'm lost. I have a piece of paracord with me. I don't want to hold on to the water bottle the whole time. Say if it's cold out, I don't want to hold on to that water. Your hands will freeze. So now I can tuck my hands in my pocket, just like so. Perfect. Go for a little hike. Go for a little hike, just like this. So later video, I will show you exactly how to kind of make a little backpack or something. It's pretty neat. Hope you enjoy. So I want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video, watching it all the way through. I really appreciate it. 
I am going to ask for you to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, because it will really help my channel out, and I appreciate it. Um, once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to get out in the woods. I don't care if it's like this or it's really heavy. I'm getting out in the woods, and I'm going to show you 100 different items you can to survive out in the wilderness. It's pretty cool. Certain items I'm going to bring with me to show you, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk about almost 100 ideas on how you can survive out in the woods. Hope you enjoy that. So please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel because I need more subscribers. My goal is to make it to 150 before I post that video, but that's my goal. If I can make it to 100, I'm going to be really happy and we'll start talking about some of those items. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. All right, so in my video, I talked about um, when I reach 100 subscribers, what I'm going to do. I am going to be posting, um, it's going to be a 10-part series on survival tips and tricks. So it's not going to be just me taking 10, I mean 100 items out in the woods. It's going to be like a 10-part series. So I'm going to do 10 different ways to how to survive or different items you can find out in the woods. And then I'm going to post in that video, and then I'm going to do 10 more, 10 more until I reach 100. So my goal is when I get 100 subscribers, I'm going to go start filming that so I can get caught up. And then once I reach 150 subscribers, I'm actually going to start posting those 10-part series. So please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share my videos because the more subscribers I get, the more fun activity videos I'm going to do like this for you. So I'm going to be posting these 10-part series. I would like to do it once a day. So like on a Friday, then a Saturday, then a Sunday, then a Monday, and I'm going to keep going until I get to 100. So I hope you're excited about that. So that's just me kind of talking a little bit about that reaching 100 subscribers. I appreciate you, my subscribers, my people that are hitting the like button. Keep it up. Um, share this video. And get me more subscribers and we'll do more fun things. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers, which that's way in the future, but once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I have a very special trip planned on for a whole week straight of me being out in the woods once I reach that 1,000 subscribers. So keep sharing my videos, keep hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to see you on the next one.